Impact Wrestling, uh, a few hours ago, announced that Joey Ryan and Dave Christ have been fired, unsurprisingly. And Michael Elgin is currently suspended, pending, I guess, a further investigation. Mm Hmm. Yeah, I think Joey Ryan's pretty much done. Um, I I may have missed something in the last hour, but the last time I checked, there were 16 allegations against Joey Ryan. 16! Yeah, you know, when you have that many, um, it's pretty hard to... Uh, I, I'll tell you, you know, yeah, it, that's it, it, it's amazing to me that nothing had come out before now, which I guess tells you just how much, um, I guess, fear if is the word that people had had about speaking out, because it's one thing when it's one person and some, you know, but when it's 16 people. Uh, it's pretty, you know, with very, you know, I mean, a lot of, of wide variety of stories, but none of them good. Um, well, we should we should add that we know someone who knows someone, and suffice to say... We always know someone who knows someone. Apparently, there are other people who are not comfortable speaking right now, so the number... How about Joy Ryan? Yes. Could could be. Who knows? Oh, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. Um... You know, you would think, I don't even want to think about what you would think because that's, but, but because but you would think that someone with his gimmick, if anything, would be extra careful, but I would, but then again, uh, who would think this way? I mean, this is, this is really bad stuff. The amount, the, the idea that had gone on to this extent, and I mean, I know people who are like really good friends of Joey Ryan's and... To say they were stunned is an understatement. Um, I mean, it's just there's so many people in this business um, that are, you know, just I, I think everyone in the business is kind of like um, just uh, emotionally exhausted. I don't even know if that's the right word, but just just the the whole last couple of four, four days or so has just been a horrible period of revelation. Um, it's that that you know i mean you always know that there is some stuff going on as far as but but you 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 think that it's pretty much um i mean there's a lot there's going to be a lot of fooling around in, in 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 the business okay it's inherent with the business okay but you always think that it's consensual you know i mean cuz you really don't hear much and i do know that like you know some of the stories as far as you know, women who guys like came on to too strongly. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm sure drunk guys and even not drunk guys, um, that's going to happen. And I'm not trying to minimize it, but but that that's not shocking to me. Um, but the extent of some of this um, is is absolutely shocking to me. Um, you know, I mean, there's. Some stuff that's been around wrestling forever, but, and I'm sure that things like this have probably been in the business before and covered up with the idea that you don't expose and you don't harm the business and all that crap. But the idea that somebody could, you know, again, like you say, 16 and there's, you know, how many is there really, right? You know, I mean, it's probably, I'll, it's probably going to be more than that. And, God knows what, and some of the, you know, some of the stories are just like so bad. I don't even want to get into them. But Joey Ryan's gone, and I don't know that we're he 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 appears to be the worst, and um, I don't know that we'll be seeing him. I don't know you, how you come back from this one. Um, I don't know how it went on this long. I don't know how. Um, I guess in some cases, uh, companies didn't know, but I know we also know in some cases companies did know, and some of them still brought him back. I mean, you know, he was an independent star without a doubt, but he wasn't that big of a star. And, and that's not, and no, and even being, if he was like Roman Reigns or Jericho or somebody like that, you know, who was really big star, that's no defense either. But 
it's just um, the whole Joy Ryan thing just is really uh, it's just so sad every time you read a story and my you know again when it's something like these stories I, I feel so horrible for the business um, for the women in the business and like I said the other day I, I believe that almost every woman in the business probably has a horror story some maybe not as bad, but I mean, I know like... Actually, believe it or not, I just saw a post from Deanna Parazzo who okay. said, believe it or not, she had no experiences. So, there is at least one. Really? Yes. Okay. Good for her. She said um, she had been... I'll, I'll try and find it here as you keep going, but... Go ahead. It's it's hard to... It's, it's almost hard to believe. Um, but... I mean, there's there's so many involving so many of the bigger names that don't want to say anything right now. Um, I mean, the biggest names of the previous generation. And it's just really... <sighs> God. You know, I mean, the thing is, is, is... The business needs a cleansing. A lot of these guys need to be gone. I mean, that's not even a question. Um... And there's got to be some changes. I really think that um, when it comes to wrestling schools, I really think that, you know, there should probably be, I know, I don't know how you enforce it, but I really do think that wrestling schools should not um, be training anyone under the age of 18. Um, I know that there's, you know, people who were big, you know, turned out to be great workers and all that and there's UK wrestlers that started at 14 and by the time they were 20 they were great and men and women both but I just think that um, there's I just for the better good I think that's one thing you know and that won't that's obviously not going to stop anything because the reality is is that the vast 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 majority of these stories um, I don't say the vast, vast, but most of the stories uh, do involve women that are over the age of 18. Um, some, there are definitely, obviously, stories of much younger women involved, too. Every story is different, um, but, I mean, that's that's one thing that I could think of. The other is is that um, there needs to be a, um, a way to for people to report it, but then you've got, you know, I mean, there's... It's such a freaking complicated issue because, you know, again, like with Joey Ryan, I can sit here and go like, there's just too many. In, in other cases, it's like, it's going to be one person's word against another. And what does that, you know what I mean? How do you, you know, do that unless you have proof? And then in certain cases, we've seen like gimmick proof too, what appears to be gimmick proof or, or something, you know, I mean, people can do stuff. Another thing, again, is, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm some of these stories. I, I just can't believe just the brazenness of some some guys. I mean, dick pics and everything like this. I mean, I know they exist, but not you know who would do this. I, I mean, maybe I'm just like this is the time where I feel like man, I must be so out of touch. I mean, I could never even. I mean, even even in a sleazy world that I'm not living in, but I can never imagine doing that to anyone you know especially unsolicited but even not it's like you're gonna send it on like you know what i mean it's like i, I don't know what happens if, you know and, and then the other thing too is just like uh it, it's it, what, what if what if you break up i mean they got the it, that that thing right there um if that's if, if you're doing it in involved in a relationship and that still like can be embarrassing don't do that you know and then you know i know women do the same thing this is a two-way street um but you know in a lot you know this is this is definitely a case where we're coming from a lot of women and it's freaking horrible and um yeah one story we're gonna see a whole a whole cleansing of the business and the only thing i can say is is that you know in the case of the guilty parties it's got to be and i just hope that some you know, I mean, I know that there's a fear of everyone in the business of innocent parties or, um, you know, whatever, 
you know, it, there's a, there's a huge fear in the business from people who are not guilty too, and right and rightfully so. By the way, I've been. I mean, I know. I woke up this morning, and I was told certain people are targets who have nothing to do with nothing. I don't want to mention names that they're not even people that are not even wrestlers, and I mean they're in the business, but they're not even. Um, and they're targets and people are trying to get them and they're trying to find stuff on them and it's you know to, because it's it's like it's like uh, what's the word I'm looking for it's you know there's there's real victims and then there's people who are um, you know trying to get people at the same time and and those people really suck too so it's a lot of suckiness right now so Deanna here says, I've typed and saved drafts, typed and deleted again and again. I don't even know what to say. I'm heartbroken. This is our world. That said, I'm one of the lucky few who don't have a story to tell. I've been protected in this industry more than I ever even realized. But I've been reading, I'm listening, and standing strong with my sisters who have stories to tell.